Hey guys, welcome to channel AQ. Today we are going to investigate an issue where my Asus Republic of Gamers laptop started overheating. Here are some specs about the laptop first. The model is an Asus ROG GL552VW series launched in July 2016. It has an Intel Core i7 processor, came with 16 gigs of RAM and I later added another 16 to make it 32. It has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M 4GB dedicated video RAM and it's a 15.6 Full HD IPS display. The storage options are 1TB hard disk with a 128GB solid state drive. I will add a link in the description to the Asus website for more details. Recently, I noticed that the laptop was overheating even with the cooling fan running at full blast. I started experiencing issues where my FPS would drastically drop when gaming. So I decided to install GPU-Z to check the sensor values. On checking the GPU temperature on startup, I could tell that it was way off bounds even with no application running. Here you can see that my GPU temperature has already hit 82 degrees Celsius without any apps open other than GPU-Z. The performance cap reason also indicates that my GPU is thermal throttling and uh, it's restricting its performance. So I decided to open it up and check the fan, the heatsink and the thermal paste on both the GPU and CPU chipsets. I will walk you through the process of disassembly in a step-by-step -step manner. First we need to shut down the laptop and disconnect the charger. Flip the laptop over and remove the battery. Remove the two screws that hold the hatch on the back. This hatch cover gives you access to the hard disk, the RAM and the solid state drive for easy upgrading. Next, we pull out the optical drive that was anchored in by one of the screws. Remove the screws which secure the hard disk and slide it out. Next, we remove the screws around the back panel. We need to make sure we remember the different screw sizes and their placements, as we will need this to be done right when assembling it back together. Turn the laptop facing upright and use a pry piece or a sharp tool to carefully pry open the keyboard panel. An important thing to remember is not to lift the panel completely off as there are three ribbon cables that need to be detached before the keyboard panel can be removed completely. These cables are connected to the keyboard, the touchpad and the keyboard backlight. Once the cables have been detached, you can lift the entire keyboard panel, dust it and keep it aside. Next. We are going to disconnect the ribbon cable that connects to the USB audio jacks to the right hand side. Once this is done, you can remove the three screws holding down the cooling fan and slowly ease the board out of its place. We can now flip the laptop over and place a cloth over the screen to avoid dust and scratches. Carefully flip over the motherboard to reveal the CPU, GPU and the heatsink assembly. The connections to the wireless LAN adapter, the display and the power cable are still connected. So you need to keep in mind not to pull on these cables or they might snap. The next step would be to remove a total of 8 screws holding down the heatsink assembly on the CPU and GPU chips. Gently nudge the heat pipes side to side so that they release. And here is the issue. All the thermal paste has dried out, reducing the heat conduction and efficiency of cooling of the laptop. The dry thermal paste needs to be scrubbed off from the heatsink and the chipsets, but be careful not to damage the components in the process. Both the surfaces need to be clean and smooth. I'm going to use the Corsair TM30 performance thermal paste that I was able to get on Amazon. 
A small but significant amount of paste is needed and you can use a flat piece of plastic or an applicator if you have one to spread it over the CPU and GPU chipset. Now that this is done, let's start the process of reassembly. We will do this exactly in the reverse order. First, place the heat sink on the chipsets and then secure all the screws in place. Next, place the fan and connect it to the motherboard. Flip the laptop and the motherboard upright and secure the cooling fan with screws. Reconnect the USB and audio jack connectors to the motherboard. Then, place the keyboard panel back on and connect the three connectors for the keyboard, the keyboard backlight and the touchpad. Press fit the keyboard panel and flip the laptop over to secure the back with screws. We need to slide the hard disk back in and then slide the optical drive in and secure the rear hatch with its screws. Finally, connect and lock the battery in place. Now that we have cleaned and replaced the thermal paste on the laptop, let's run GPU-Z once again to test the thermal performance of the GPU now. And there we have the results. The GPU temperature is below 50 degrees Celsius compared to the 80 plus degrees earlier. This has certainly helped us in fixing the issue. I hope you guys found this video useful. Stay tuned for more tech videos on AQ. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.